Well, the key thing there to recognize is that when home values decline, they decline against fixed longer term mortgage debt. And what you and as a result the equity, the difference between the value of homes and the total debt on them that uh, uh, it is the equity in home ownership in the United States and that equity is very seriously impacted. Equity rose from 1997, a level of, of, uh, of about six trillion dollars to 13 trillion dollars in, in 2006 and then it collapsed in 2011 to five and a half. So over a, 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 nearly a 15 year period there was actually a decline in uh, home equity in the United States by half a trillion dollars. That's remarkable. Over a 15 year period all of the gain was given back in terms of net, net wealth. And the point is that that really impacts people's willingness to spend. And, and, and you also have to realize that the banks are on the other side of that. But the immediate effect is to really greatly uh, damage household balance sheets and people sort of hunker down and, and go into a precautionary, the precautionary motives come out and they're trying to pay down uh, debt and gradually get out of this kind of a black hole that they have fallen into. Another factor that compounds the problems that are created by having, you know, equity that in homes that went unchanged from 1997 to 2010 is the fact that, you know, while households started in 1997 with five and a half trillion dollars in equity and ended, or five trillion in equity, and ended what would it be 13 years later with the, a, a little bit less equity, they also doubled the amount of, how, of mortgage debt that they were holding. So they had five and a half trillion dollars of equity on about five trillion dollars in mortgages in 1997 and they had five trillion dollars in equity on about eleven or ten and a half trillion dollars of mortgage debt in 2010. So that put an additional damper on household finances.